let's learn how to create concentric shapes for literally any shape in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. So in a new document, start by creating any shape. So I will start with an ellipse. So let's grab my ellipse. I've got a white fill and black stroke. Let's just click and drag out an ellipse on the canvas. I'm going to hold shift to make it a perfect circle and leave it selected. Next, come to window actions. I'm going to bring my actions panel to the left hand side just so we can see it. So we're now going to record an action. So remember, keep this selected. Click here to create a new action and let's call this action concentric and click record. With this recording, let's go to object, path, offset path, and set any offset you like. So let's go with 30 pixels. Click my preview on just to see if I'm happy with it. And once happy, click OK, and then click to stop the action. Grab my selection tool and make sure this new path is selected. And now all I have to do if I collapse concentric, select it and click play, and it creates another offset path. And I can do this as many times as I like. And I can do this with any shape. So if I just scroll to the right hand side, let's try this with a rectangle. So let's click and drag out a rectangle very quickly. Make sure it's selected. Make sure concentric is selected in my actions panel and then click. And there we go. I can create concentric squares or rectangles. Let's try again with another shape. So let's go to my polygon tool. Let's click and drag out a polygon. Let's increase the number of sizes in the arrow keys. Make sure the shape's selected. And again, concentric. Click play, and again, I can do this as many times as I like. I can even create more complex shapes and apply the same method. So let's grab my rectangle, click and drag out a quick square. Then let's grab my ellipse tool and click and drag out ellipse over the top. Grab selection tool, select both of these shapes, come to Pathfinder and let's just unite them. So there's my new shape. And now if I come back to actions, select concentric, and we can do exactly the same to the new shape. So there you have it, one-click concentric shapes in a matter of seconds using this quick action. I really hope you found that tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.